Hello, welcome back. Today I have an amazing video for you. We are going to prepare a healthy version of a natural oil at home. You won't believe how easy it is and you can prepare your own version of oil, cooking oil actually, at your own home. This oil has a very high smoking point and you can use it for frying and deep frying and making different kinds of food. And actually it's a kind of a healthy choice. So let's get into preparation of this amazing oil. To make this ghee, you will need unsalted butter. You can use as much as you want. Here I'm using 2 kg organic homemade butter. If you like also, you can take this butter from the countryside of your place to make sure it's organic and more natural. Or you can simply buy the unsalted butter from your supermarket, the organic one if you want, and you can just make it. It's perfectly fine. To prepare and to make this ghee, it is very important to always keep the stove temperature low. Place all the butter in a cooking pot, put it over the low temperature stove and let it melt. You don't need here to cover your pot, you just let it uncover. As you see our butter start melting, we just keep waiting until all the butter melts. Now our butter is almost melted all of it so we just keep it over the low temperature as it is after our butter is melted you will see and notice gradually there is a layer of foam is forming on the top of the butter start removing all the foam which is forming on the top of the butter we must keep removing all the foams which is forming on the top of our butter until no foam is formed try to remove the foam carefully because it's a very thin layer so we do not want our butter also to be removed gradually by the foam we remove the second layers of the foam again from the butter and what we get at the end is pure ghee. Keep removing the foam until no foam is formed. Once all the foam are removed from the butter, we will see our butter has become purified and so bright and clean, which we can see all the milk solid down at the bottom of our cooking pot. And you will see these small bubbles also forming in our butter. At this stage, our purifying process is completed and it is time to remove our ghee from the stove. You see here how bright our ghee is. This ghee is completely purified and all the milk solid has been removed from the top and bottom. Now we can just separate this ghee from the leftover and remaining tiny solid milks and transfer it to the glass jar. To remove all the tiny leftover milk salad from our ghee, we use a tea strainer, removing all the leftover milk salad that it could be stay remaining in our ghee. This is the last stage of our purification process of our ghee. And after that, it's completely ready to use. You can see here clearly all the milk solid which has come at the bottom of our cooking pot. Our ghee is completely ready. We should leave it open and a room temperature so it cools down. Once it cools down, you can just keep it in your fridge and you can just use it anytime you want to fry and cook. It is very healthy for cooking. It has a very high smoke point and it does not release free radicals and it gives you strength also during the daytime, gives you energy and it burns easily by exercising. Did you see how it was easy? So let me know what you think. Comment below this video and if you really like this video, please like it and share. Subscribe to my channel for all the great tips and good recipes.